Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, this is Redberry Wheel here, and welcome back to another Civil Air Patrol video. In today's video, I am talking about ABU outer garments, and there are two specifically that I'm going to talk about, and a little bit about other things that you can wear in your uniform to stay warm. So the first one I'm going to talk about, looky here, I've got it in my lap, all ready to go, is the fleece. So you can wear a sage green fleece with your ABUs. It, it, your sleeves can't be super long. They they should be like how my sweatshirt fits me right now. It should not be going past <laughs> your your wrist super far or super long. And it's supposed to just primarily cover the blouse. And then the way that this works is that you've got your name on this side with the insignia above it. And then on the other side, you've got your Civil Air Patrol tape. Okay, so this is a very nice outer garment to have. You're not required to have one, but I personally like wearing it like for wreaths across America. If your squadron ever gets the opportunity to participate in it, then this is, this is a great thing to wear because it keeps you nice and toasty warm. And I like if it's super cold outside, I will wear an, a layer underneath my ABUs in addition to my undershirt. So like a pair of long underwear, if you will. Um, and then on top of it, wear this. And it's it's pretty warm. Uh, it's It can be worn with black or sage gloves. And when you are not needing gloves, then you should take them off. You can also wear like a black scarf or black earmuffs with this. It's very nice and handy. Sage green gloves aren't as common, so I do recommend just getting a black pair of gloves because also if you wanted to wear gloves with your service dress uniform, they have to be black. They can't be sage. So for multi-purpose use, get black gloves. They're very nice. So let's move on to the next one. Oh, one, one small note that I'm going to make. This does not have CAP above it. This, this is Velcro. So let me pull it off. So this is Velcro. And it just goes on nicely here. Some uniforms have the other side of the Velcro, like the soft side of the Velcro, on this side of the uniform. So you might need to pull it off and put it onto this side. It depends. Like, I got mine from, from a thrift shop, uh, <laughs> from an airman's attic for free. So it wasn't that big of a hassle. But that is the fleece. One special side note about when you are a cadet, NCO, or airman wearing the fleece is that you have to get a plain dark blue fleece Velcro backing and then you put the metal insignia in the middle of it, which is a little bit different from getting it already sewn in onto the insignia, okay? And I'm just going to do a brief interjection here. If you want to know more about blues outer gear, I will be, or the outerwear, I should say, I will be making a video on that as well. It's just that I'm still gathering the materials for it. So that's in progress. So let's talk about Gore-Tex. Look, I've also got the Gore-Tex right here in my lap. Yay, yippee ki yay. So I actually have a pair of Gore-Tex pants and a top, but I do not have everything I need in order to wear this uniform. Let me move my gloves over here. So I... I can show you here that it's got like Velcro on the bottom, it's got a zipper up the side, it's got pockets and everything, and it's supposed to fit over your current pair of pants. And then the Vortex blouse goes over this. And it's it's got lots of space and it, it's got elastic bands on it just so that it's a little bit easier to take on, put on and take off when you are doing stuff outside. But I want to explain why I don't have what I need. So there's a little thing here. Let me find it. It's a little tab. And it's got a button. If it'll unbutton for me. There we go. Um, so then you slide on the insignia here. So the difference between this and the fleece is that all of the insignia that people wear on the Gore-Tex is required to have a little CAP on top and then the grade. And that's different, one, because it's a little loop that you put on, a little epaulet that you put on to this versus a piece of Velcro. So if you go on to Vanguard, which is where you, you can order all of the uniform pieces, it will show you, like if you look up 
fleece insignia, like Civil War Patrol fleece insignia, it'll show you the Velcro ones. And then if you look up Gore-Tex and the Civil War Patrol insignia, it'll show you all the options for that as well. And I should have some visuals here to just show you the differences between those. But this, this material is supposed to be water resistant. Um, it's a little bit plasticky feeling, like it, it's not nearly as soft. But because it's water resistant, this is especially good for if you're going off on an emergency services mission and uh, you might get wet. Like it's, it's almost like a replacement for a poncho. I personally would use this and a poncho just to stay extra dry. Um, in addition to having extra socks, gotta remind you guys, wear your extra socks. Well, excuse me, don't wear your extra socks. Bring extra socks. Don't wear all of them at once, because that would not be wise. But, so this is the Gore-Tex, and that's, that's the two major outer garments that you can wear with your ABU uniform. Now, if you ever feel like you don't, you don't have these things, you don't want to spend extra money, you can always, oh, let me move this. You can always just wear layers underneath, like your shirt and your blouse, but that can also be challenging to change out of later on in the day, unless there's like a bathroom nearby or anything like that. So it, it sort of depends on the occasion. The garments that I just showed you are pretty expensive. I did not pay for them. Someone else paid for them and then I got them through an airman's attic. And that, that's basically like a thrift shop at an Air Force base. So if you are looking to get these outer garments and you don't have the money to just drop $75 on a fleece, and then you have to buy the insignia on top of that, then just see if you can find something from your local squadron. Like, ask your squadron, are there uniform pieces available such as Gore-Tex or fleece that I might be able to use during the winter? If your squadron doesn't have such materials available, then you could potentially look at local thrift shops. Sometimes they have old uniform pieces. It's it's easier if it's closer to a military base, Air Force base, because we're still in ABUs right now. But when Civil Air Patrol eventually changes over to the MCU pattern, I, I'm pretty sure it'll be easier to find uniform pieces because Army's currently using it and Air Force has recently transitioned into it as well. So, if you don't want to go looking around for the, the fleece or for the Gore-Tex and you want to find alternatives, you could always wear layers underneath. It, like, I, I had, like, under armor that I would wear, like a white under armor top, and I would make sure that it's tucked in in the sleeves and that it wasn't high enough that it was like underneath where my, my collar was for the tan t-shirt that I was wearing underneath. And it worked out pretty well when I needed to do that. That was actually at Reeds Across America. I, I wore the fleece and I wore the layer underneath just because I knew it was going to be very cold when I went and it worked very well for me. I also wore little black earmuffs and I had my my ABU cover on top. So it worked out pretty well for me to stay warm, but know yourself, know how much you want to spend on outer garments and be aware that there are options. So I'm, I'm just reminding you here that a blues video on outer garments will be coming out soon. There are many more options for blues. Like there's the top coat, there's the lightweight blue jacket, there's like a sweater, there's a cardigan, like all sorts of options that I'll talk about next time. But I hope this was a helpful video. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and that is all folks. Until next time, toodles.